Hi friends and welcome to another fun video. Today I will use Dynamo to place out a Revit family, more specifically a steel core pile family along a curved line with a fixed distance between them. Further, I would like the script to have the option to change specified parameters in the steel pile family. Let's get started. Open up Dynamo and start developing the script that will perform the job for us. In our case, we do have the curved line and would like to select it with the select edge node. I have now imported the curved line into Dynamo where I can start editing it, manipulate it or do whatever I want with it. What I do want is to add points along the curve. Curve point at parameter will do the job. The parameter input is not very intuitive, kind of complicated. I will be using a code block. I have typed in 0.1, meaning that the whole curve will be selected when placing the points, where 0 is the start of the curve and 1 is the end point of the curve, or 100% of the curve. Had I replaced 0 with 0 0.4, the first of the points would have started at 40% from the start point of the curve. The last part I added is hashtag A, where A is a number input value that determines the number of points that will be placed along the curve between the start point 0 and the end point 1. Hope that made any sense. Let's move on. Add an integer slider to make it easier to change the number of points along the curved line. Adjust the maximum to 25, set the number of points to 2, and I hit run. Can see that on the curve there are added 2 points at the start of the curve at 0 and 1 point at the end of the curve at 1. Change the number of points to 16 between the start of the line at 0 to the end of the line at 1 with an equal distance between them. These points will be used to place the family. Next is the actual placement in Revit. Search for the node family instance by point. I would usually use this node, but this particular family needs a level input to work, so I will be using the node family instance by point and level. The levels refer to the level in Revit. Just quickly show what kind of levels I mean. Back to Revit and unhide the levels. The levels node will fetch out a decided level from Revit. I will choose plan 01. The point input comes from the point at the parameter node and all the 25 points previously created. Lastly, the family type node is used to select the family from the drop down menu in the node. It is important to know that all the families in the drop down menu are inside the Revit file that is open. Connect the nodes and hit run. In Revit, we can see that a total of 16 steel core pile families have been placed out along the curve with an equal distance from each other. Can now change the number of points along the curve, the, the integer slider and hit run again. The number of steel core piles adjust accordingly. The families have been placed, but I would like to change some of the parameters in these families and doing it one by one takes a lot of time. So I will let Dynamo change it at the same time. We'll be using the node set parameter by name. The string node will contain the exact name of the parameter in the specified family. Since I am changing the top plan value, I am using the levels node as the input value and the value will be plan 02. I hit run once again and all the top plan values have now been edited. I will also change the base offset and the top offset, starting with the base offset Here I will just use the number node and type in a number. Let's go with 3000. Oh, we'll edit it to minus 3000. Nah, try minus 30,000. I will settle for minus 7000. But as you can see, it's extremely easy to change a parameter value for several different families of one type in just seconds with Dynamo. One of the great benefits of knowing how to use Dynamo. The last parameter I would like to edit here is the top offset parameter. The tricky part here is that I would like to have the pile head at the start of the curved line, but every Z point here is different. So I need to use a formula node. The first thing I need is to retract the level number on plan 02.
then I will retrieve the C value with the node point C for each individual coordinate created on the curved line, then subtract the level number from the C value from the coordinate. and put the value into the element dot set parameter by name node. And I have now changed each of the 16 steel core piles top offset with an individual number. So the head is placed exactly on the top point 